This is the story about Jonah and a massive fish. Jonah lived a long time ago. He was a man of God, but he was having a tough time. One day, God spoke to him, Jonah? Yes, Lord God, I am your servant, Jonah replied. Good, said God. I want you to go to Nineveh and preach to the people. They are wicked and getting out of control. They need to turn back to me and you need to tell them this. But Jonah ran away. He went to the nearest port and tried to find a passage on a boat getting as far as way as possible. He found a boat, paid the fare and went aboard. When the tide was right, the boat set sail and Jonah breathed a sigh of relief. He went down below decks and lay down to sleep. When the boat was out on the open sea, God began to send a great storm of winds and high waves and dangerous conditions. Even the experienced sailors were afraid. The captain of the ship found Jonah. How can you sleep during this lot? He shouted above the noise of the storm. Get up, get on your knees, pray to any God you know. Pray to your God, pray for our safety before we all die. The other sailors were afraid. They looked around for someone to blame and it had to be Jonah. Who are you? they asked him. Where do you come from? What are you doing? What are you running from? What have you done to bring such calamity on us all? How terrible can it be? Jonah answered their questions. I am a Hebrew, an Israelite. I worship Lord God Almighty. He asked me to go somewhere, but I was afraid and I ran away. The storm continued to get worse as the winds became stronger and the waves got higher and lapped at the sides of the boat. What shall we do? asked the sailors to each other. You need to throw me in the water, said Jonah, feeling miserable. I'm sure it will calm down if you just throw me in. <sighs> he sighed. No, we can't do that, they replied. You'll be drowned in seconds. We can't be responsible for killing you like that. And they did their very best to get the boat back to dry land. But the storm intensified. The waves began to crash over the boat, bringing water into it. The winds blew even stronger and pushed against the boat making it difficult to head in any direction. The sailors cried out to God. Forgive us, Lord God, they cried. Do not hold us responsible for this man's life. Do not let us die. As they said this, they got hold of Jonah 
and threw him into the raging waters around the boat. At which point the storm calmed down, the wind subsided, the waves were still and the sailors were amazed. They gave thanks to God and worshipped him and made vows of obedience to him. And Jonah? Well, a little while later, he woke up inside a great fish and he gave thanks to God. I call to you in my distress, O God, he said, and you saved me from the stormy seas. You sent this creature to rescue me. Now I will go and do as you commanded, because you are the Lord God and have power over all creation. After three days, the fish was close enough to dry land to spew out Jonah and he walked away. God spoke to Jonah a second time. Jonah? Yes, Lord, I am your servant, Jonah replied. Good, said God. I still want you to go to Nineveh. The people are still doing wicked things. I will give you a message to take to these people. Okay, God, Jonah replied. I'm on my way. Jonah headed to Nineveh. It was a huge city. It would take you three days to walk from end to end. Jonah began at the edge of the city and walked for a day. All the while he was proclaiming, 40 more days and Nivea will be overthrown. As the people of Nivea heard Jonah, they realised that God had given them an opportunity to repent their wicked ways. They proclaimed a time of fasting and every person from the greatest to the least dressed in sackcloth and put ashes onto themselves. Even the king of Nivea, when he heard took off his royal robes and dressed in sackcloths and sat in the dust. Then the king issued a royal proclamation. Everyone must fast, even the animals. No one is to eat or drink. Everyone must pray to God right now for forgiveness and must turn from their ways of wickedness and violence. Who knows? God may hear us and may turn his anger from us and we may be saved. And God saw the people of Nivea were sorry for their wicked ways and for their times of violence. So God relented and did not bring upon them the total destruction that he had planned. But Jonah, Jonah went off to sulk. It's not fair, God, he cried. I know you and I knew this would happen. When I ran away from you, it was because I knew you would change your mind. I knew the people would be sorry for their wickedness and I knew you would forgive them. 
Why, God? Why? Jonah, you are right, said God. If my people are truly sorry for their wicked deeds and turn away from them, I will forgive my people and not send calamity on them. It is because I am a God of compassion. I am gracious. My anger is slow to burn and I am abounding in love for all of my people. 